That T-Rex isn't going to show its face until we find out where its lunch got to. Stupid goat. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Huh. Sorry. I don't think he's going to make an appearance today. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. If... Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I have to see the dinosaurs dropping. If one of us examines her droppings, we might be able to figure out what's wrong with her. And uh, by one of us, I mean you, Dr. Sattler. I guess that stuff really does help grow big vegetables. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We'll have to track down everything we need to make her feel better again. Yes, uh, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. You know, these prehistoric plants are surprisingly sturdy. There's no trace of lilac berries. I was wondering where I dropped my ice pop. <laughs> uh, I'll let you keep it. Alright, so she's suffering from meliotoxicity. dilated. <laughs> Nothing. 
vesicles. It's interesting. I'm impressed, Dr. Sattler. She's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. Not far to the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. Product. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. 7 o'clock, D-Stock. <laughs> 